Good morning everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. On this channel, we're all about doing fitness and wellness, nutrition in ways that are sustainable for the long haul. So if you're new, consider subscribing. While you're down there, make sure you click the little bell. It's a reminder in your inbox that new videos are available from us. All right, today's workout, we're doing it, kicking it old school, we're doing Tabata again. Tabata is a great workout. The format looks like this. So basically you do 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of reprieve and you repeat, repeat, repeat for eight rounds. Now the benefit of that is that we progressively overload the muscle, especially when we only have one or two exercises in that round. So we're gonna do some that are just one, some will have two and some will have four, just follow along. All right, you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for this workout, so make sure that you have a variety there. Uh, water, BCAAs, and towel, and we're getting started right now. warm up this first four minutes this first round is going to be relatively easy but join with me as we get everything warmed up to do our heavy lifting all right starting with a squat to overhead press right here feet are shoulder width apart reach up over the head and get those shoulders warmed up here so this first little circuit will have a little bit of cardio a little bit of stretching and uh, then we should be good to go round two that's it all right, shake that out. Let's move to a little ice skater, get some blood flow going. So hinge at the waist, tummy tucked in tight. You can step this or jump it. Ready? Let's do it. Just like that, good job. Shoulder circles are coming up. All right, <clears throat> standing still. Again, these are soft, stick your chest out. We're doing some big arm circles coming up, front and back. Ready? Let's go. Up. That's it. Get that ball and socket all warmed up. Switch directions here. Doesn't take long for those shoulders to burn, does it? No, it doesn't. Woo, feeling it already. Okay, that's good. A little climb the ladder. Modify right here. Otherwise, you're running it out. Reaching your hands up to warm up the chest. Ready? Let's do it. Not quite sure how this will be working out in a t-shirt. That's not like me, is it? I'm like tank top all the way, but I bought this yesterday and I love it. I like the little uh, side shoulder cap on it. It's cute. All right, repeating that whole round. Let's take it a little bit wider on our squat this time. Overhead reach as well still. Shoulders back, here we go. Low and up. It's funny, Adidas has been around for like ever, and now all of a sudden it's coming back around. It's got a bunch of Nike um, and Levi's shirts out as well right now, so who knows? Trends, right? Good. All right, let's go into those arm circles. Shoulders back, tight, ready. Big circles back. That's right, make sure we get them all the way back. Switch directions. shoulders there good all right moving to ice skaters hinge at the waist get ready and big jump here we go I think I switched that direction around didn't I that order sorry about that I might do that a few times today but I know we do have the climb the ladder left, so that's what I know, so that's okay. We're getting it done. All right, last one here, high knees. Let's really get some blood flow, here we go. That's it. Warming shoulders up here.
Get it up, almost there. All right, good job. Good, grab some water, make sure your weights are ready and we're getting started with our first circuit. In this next circuit, you're gonna be doing a donkey position, renegade row, alternating rows, and then we're gonna move into a plank, knee to opposite elbow. Get ready, in three, two, and here we go. Get ready, in three, two, and start. All right, donkey position, and row it up. I've got my 15s here, I'm going nice and heavy. So I want my heart rate to get up as my second exercise is in no weight, just body weight. So we're gonna challenge when we can here. Thumb is down and you're hovering over the ground. Good, little rest. Plank position, knee to opposite elbow. In four, three, two, and crunch it in. Good, bring it nice and deep. Go as far as you can, and slow. Good, last three, two, and nine. Okay, good, back to the renegade row. Donk position, get ready. In three, two, hover, and row. Try not to shift your weight onto your feet when you're doing this row. And remember, you are rowing between your chest and your hip, not your shoulder and your hip, okay? Get it back, you trap your shoulder blade. All right, time. Woo. Plank, knee to opposite elbow. Ready, and start. I want you crunching those obliques here. So twist the body, bring the knee to the elbow or to the outside. Good. Back to the row. Two rounds done, two to go. Ready, hover, row. Really trying not to rotate my whole shoulder up. Face the ground, do the work. Good. Okay, plank. Sweaty already. Doesn't take long. In three, two, knee in. and tries here, you're gonna do a chest fly to tricep crossover. So it's rounded arms here, turn, cross and press. And we're supersetting that with a tricep overhead extension, alternating leg lifts right like that. All right, let's start. Three, two, and here we go. Rounded arms, open, turn, cross, and 
open and cross the chest. That's it. A lot of chest and tries here. I'm using my eight pound dumbbells. Good. And rest, that's it. All right, alternating leg extensions here and tricep overhead extension. Here we go. So overhead and switch legs, that's it. Trying to not move my shoulders at all. Just want that elbow joint to be the only joint moving here in upper body. Okay, back to those chest fly, tricep crossover. Get ready in three rounded arms. Here we go. Open, turn, cross at the elbow you drop. Open and triceps. That's it. All right, little rest there. Back to our overhead extension with the leg flutter. Here we go. And start back. Switch legs. Woo! Triceps are starting to feel it now. Just now. So a lot of time under tension for your triceps. That's what's gonna fatigue them a bit. That's good. Okay, back to our chest flies. Two more of each. In three, two rounded arms. And open, turn, tricep. Remember, you're not bending your elbow on that chest fly. Everything is just rounded like you're hugging a big tree. Okay, not bent like your chest press. Good. Okay, back to the overhead extension legs. In three, two, and start. Down, switch. Really hold that sh shoulder still and push the small of your back into the ground. Woo! One more of each. That's good. In three, two, and start. Open, turn. This one's a little bit tricky. I hope you got it. It's kind of like patting your head, rubbing your stomach at the same time. Once you get it, it's good though. Cross, straight up. Make sure you're not resting on the ground there. Okay, last leg flutter with our overhead extension. In three, two, here we go. Low. This was great on targeting triceps this round here. I definitely feel it there. All right, great. Shake that out, grab some water if you need, and let's hit our third circuit. We're gonna be working back these next two exercises. You're gonna do a piston push pull. So grab two dumbbells, I've got my eights here. Push and pull together, okay? So, and then we're gonna be stretching it out for a break. Then you're gonna hinge forward again and a wide row to superset with that. In three, two, and let's start with that piston push pull. Okay, hands together, nice flat back, push and pull that weight. Really try to retract the shoulder blades and you wanna stick your chest out, okay, right there. Stick it out and squeeze those shoulder blades together. No rounded backs here. All right, that's it. Stand up, round through the back. A little shoulder roll here. Going back down for a wide row. In three, hinge forward, ready, and wide, right there. That's it. I'm coming up to 90 degrees on the side. Again, squeezing shoulder blades together. 
Working more rear delt here and a little middle back muscles. All right, stand and roll it out. Back to our piston push pull. Knees are soft. Hinge at the waist, touch those weights together and row. Really focusing on form, not shrugging my shoulders, but keeping them low and back. Pull. Looks good. All right, stand, stretch it out for a second. Good, wide rows coming up. In three, hinge forward, two, and pull. Okay, best to keep a nice neutral neck. I'm kind of best when I keep my eyes down on the ground in front of me, but focusing on a nice flat back. Really important here. Good, stand, back to our piston. We're gonna throw a little cardio in next, wrap those heart rates up. All right, let's do it, pull. Keep those dumbbells touching together. Oh, it's hard. Nice. That's, that's work, eh? I'm glad I've got my eights. Heavier would be harder on that one. Hinge and row up wide here. No bobbing here. Keep your back super still. It's just those arms that are working. Last one. Okay, one more of each, and we'll move on to cardio. Ready, piston, touch together, pull, push, good. Woo, this is work after a while. See, that eight rounds gets ya, doesn't it? And then supersetting the same muscle area, that's good too. Okay, one more, the wide row. In three, two, and out wide. Here we go. Give a mirror, make sure you check out your back. It's super flat, stick your chest out. Good, halfway. All right, excellent. Stretch it out, let's hit that cardio. Starting with a split, split squat, we're starting in three, two, and start. Here we go. So, split, split squat, that's it. Now, if you wanna really take this deep, go ahead and do a jumping lunge, jumping lunge squat. Feel free. Okay, legs are still sore from my workout the other day, so I'm just keeping this to a cardio move, not so much a leg move. All right, little rest for a second. Good, squat jumps coming up. Each shoulder width apart, straight up and down. Get ready, and jump it up. Let's go. Land nice and light, soften those knees. Burning. Three seconds, two, and time. Okay, front punch, side to side. We're taking it nice and low though. Ready, and here we go, right here. So I'm doing the slight squat, punching hands in front. it. Three, two, and rest. Okay, some cardio kicks. We're going to kick up in front right here. Get those glute cheeks warmed. Ready? Let's go. Right here.
split, split, squat. Coming up again. Woo. That's good. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. Boom, boom, and there. Drop your butt. Squat jumps are next. Okay, squat, squat jumps, keep shoulder width apart, big jump up here, use your hands too, let's go. Ooh, burning quads. Three, two, oh, that burns. All right, side to side, punch. Here we go. Get low, come on. Body should stay in the center. It's just those legs extending out to the side here. Good, last one, those cardio kicks. Then a quick break. Whew. It's good for the heart. Ready, and let's go. Halfway. Go, 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 come on. Okay, excellent. Quick water and draw me back. Hitting shoulders this next set. I want you to hinge forward at the waist. One knee, one hand on a bench, chair. You could even do this on the ground if you don't have anything. Okay, we're gonna come up to a front raise and then a reverse fly right there. Alternating those for the 20 seconds, then you'll switch sides. Ready? Here we go. Straight arm. Slightly bent and retract the shoulder blades. No swinging at the bottom here. Wherever it lands, that's where you land. Good, switch sides. Get ready. And let's go. Up. Back is flat. So I'm lifting my eight here. Make sure you go heavy enough where you're really feeling that challenge. Because you do get a little break, remember? That's good, switch sides. That feels like it's gonna be good enough for eight rounds for me. All right, in four, three, two, and start. Up and round. I'm getting 12 in, six of each, so that's good. Rep range, I'm gonna aim to keep that for the next number of rounds here. In three, two, and go. So, I don't wanna rush the movement. I still want control, but I wanna challenge myself to move at that pace with good form. That's good, I got it on that side too. How'd you guys do? Are you aiming for that? Okay, nice flat back, ready, and go. See, I'm keeping my back nice and flat towards the ground, not rotating up, especially on that front raise. Ugh, heavy. Okay, good. Same rep range, that was good. Switch sides. In three, two, and start. Two. 
halfway. Good. Okay, I'm staying right in that six. I like it. One more each side. In three, two, and start. Five seconds. Oh, I got six plus one on that one. One extra. I'm gonna aim for that on the side too. In three, two, and start. Halfway. Twelve. Thirteen. Good job. Okay, stretch that out. Well, let's move on. This next circuit's gonna be hard on the chest and triceps a bit. We're gonna do an alternating hand slide push up. So I'm gonna go from my knees, I'm gonna slide my hand out, push myself up, switch hands, okay? Then we're moving into a plank, up, down, plank, just like that. Now if you don't have a carpet or something smooth to slide on, feel free to just do regular push ups or quickly pause the video, grab a tea towel, and you can do it on a smooth surface. Starting with those push ups in three, Two, and start. All right, here we go. I tried this from my toes and it's too hard for me, so feel free to try it from your toes if you want. Keep that core tight, push hard from the chest. Good, yeah, that's work, isn't it? Okay, up, down, plank. This can be done from your knees as well. Ready, and go. Switch lead arms. Push straight up, hand comes under your shoulder and presses your body up. Five seconds. Woo, good. Okay, back to that sliding push up in four. Three, two, bump down, and go. Whew. Wow, that is a challenge. Five seconds. One more. Oh, I love it. This work definitely work. Okay, up, down, plank. Three, two, start. Make sure you're pushing all the way up to that straight arm and tapping the hand. I've seen a lot of cheaters on this one. Not come all the way up. All right, time. Oh, halfway through, back to your push up. All right, in three, two, bump down. Here we go. This is challenging. Oh, time. Is that one hard for you too? Are you doing the slide? Yeah, it's work, isn't it? Okay, up, down, plank, ready, and start. Feeling a lot of shoulders in this round right here. Holding your own body weight up, it's a lot of work. Feel free to do this from the knees if you need. Okay, one more each. You can do this. Three, two, start. Oh, one more. Uh, 
<laughs> and third. Okay, up down plank. Last one. Three, two, and start. Knock these out nice and quick if you can. Then a bicep tricep circuit coming up. Push, push. Okay, great. A little break, and let's move on. These two exercises, you have hammer curls, palms face the leg, all the way up, slight turn and flex at the top. Then you're gonna set one dumbbell down. Make sure it doesn't fall. And skull crushers right here, and these are soft overhead extension. All right, get ready. Grab your dumbbells for that hammer curl in three, two, and you're starting right here. Okay, knees are soft, shoulders back, curl right to the top. That's it. I think I'm coming in. I'm coming in. That's all there is to it. All right. Oh. I'm going with my 15s on this because I want to work. And um, my rep range is going to be shorter because of the time frame. So it's got to be heavy enough where it feels like work. Set one dumbbell down. Get ready for that overhead extension. In three, two, knee soft, and up. Now, called skull crusher for a reason. I look toward the ground on this one. Keep my elbows as close to my ears as possible. That's it. My pace isn't too slow here because the weight is okay for me. You've gotta determine if it's too heavy, too light, and then adjust your pace accordingly. Hammer curls, shoulders back, get ready. Here we go, up. Your elbows tucked in. All right, I got nine on that one. That's gonna be my base. I'm gonna aim for that the next couple of times as well. All right, in four, three, tricep skull pressure, up. Burns. Okay, I've got 12 on that. So 9 and 12 is what I'm aiming for. I don't know where you're at or what weight you have, but aim for the same. Ready? Hammer curls. Let's do it. Up. No swinging at the bottom. There's nine for me. Yeah, perfect. Okay, aiming for 12 over here. You do whatever you're at. Okay, ready? And let's go. Up, extend those arms all the way up to the top. Full range of motion here. Good, one more of each. I'm gonna challenge myself to try and get one more in each category. Ready? Here we go. Three, three. Shoulders back. Stick your chest out. It's nine. Oh, darn it. Didn't do it. I might be able to in this one. Okay, get ready. And here we go. Press. There's 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, okay, that was good. All right, great, shake it out and come back for a cardio circuit.
Let's do a full jumping jack circuit. Different jacks. We'll start with a regular cross body jack. Ready? Here we go. Okay, cross your arms, cross your legs. That's it. Jumping jack, high knee, coming up. Okay, a little break there for a second. Go through the break if you want. If you want a full four minutes of cardio, you have at her. Okay, jack, high knee, ready? Let's go. Up, jack, knee, up. That's it, doing good. All right, center jack, side squat. Jack in the center, side squat. Three, two, let's go. Star jacks coming up. That's a hard one. Okay, you're down low, up and low. Whew, it's gonna be hard. Ready? Here we go. Low, up. Whew, let's work. Keep going, almost there. Good, back to the start, cross body. Three, two, here we go. Jumping jack, high knee. Cross those feet, cross those arms. Come on. Jack high knee. Here we go. Center jack side squat coming up. Jack side squat, ready. Star jack as our last one. Last 20 seconds of work, then a break. Hit it hard. Here we go. Okay, that's it. Grab some water, come back for another circuit. Your next two exercises are down on the floor. You're gonna do a pulse press for chest, okay? So a little pulse at the bottom, full range press. Once you're done that, set those weights down, grab a lighter weight, I'm gonna grab an eight here, Russian twist, press right like that. Don't bang your knuckle on those weights, I'm gonna move them. All right, are you ready? In three, two, and start. Grab those heavy weights, pulse press right here, little one, full range, little and up. Okay, just adding that little pulse keeps tension on your chest, front shoulder there a little bit longer. Oh, it makes it harder. I've got 15s in my hand right now, by the way. Boom. Okay, good. So I'm setting those down, out of my way, grabbing my lighter weight, Russian twist, overhead press. Ready, and start.
start. Up. So if you want to modify this, leave your feet on the ground, but stay backward leaning so you can hit those obliques a bit. Good. Fatiguing my shoulders by adding a weight here. Five seconds. All right, set that aside. Grab your big ones. Get on your back right away. You're going in four, three, two, and start. Stay over the chest, not the neck or face. Feeling that now. That doesn't take long, does it? All right. Brush and twist, press. Four, three, two, go. Up. That's it, you're halfway. Keep pushing. Three, two, and time. All right, press. Whew. Chest is sore. Ready, and start. It's that speed. It's as it compiles with a little rest in between that you start to feel it. Burning. Okay, good. Rush and twist. Three, two, let's go. We're gonna do a single exercise, a shoulder um, circuit, just to finish off our Tabata today. Coming up after this. It's gonna be hard, so make sure your shoulders are ready to go. Three, two, and time. All right, one more of each. Lie down in three, two, and start. work. Don't stop. Ugh, last one there. All right. Last Russian twist. Three, two, and go. Ten seconds. Three, two, and time. Okay, I'm gonna have my eights and my fives handy for this shoulder workout or the shoulder round next. Grab whatever you need and let's get started. Okay, we're doing an Arnold press to finish off all the way up, all the way in. I'm gonna start with my eights. I'll see how many rounds I get. I'm gonna aim to do it all with that, but I've got my fives handy just in case. All right, in three, Two, and here we go. Arnold's knees are soft, press up, bring it together. Now when you bring it down, don't drop those elbows super low. Keep them at chest height, okay? Work those rear delts a little bit as well. Tummy is tight, knees are soft, and I've got my chest up and out. All right, good. I didn't count there, I'm gonna count the next one. Try and stay in that rep range. That wasn't horrible. That was one of eight, so we'll see how she goes. Here we go. And one. Halfway. All right, 10 I got. Ugh, I don't know if I'll be able to stay in that rep range. I'm gonna try it though. In three, two, here we go. Halfway.
10. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. That's okay. Nobody said it was easy. Here we go. Up. Halfway. Uh. Three. Uh, ten. Ten with a slight break in between. Okay. Ready? And start. Don't arch your back. Halfway. Oh. Yeah, it's only nine for me there. Might have to drop it to nine. Still hard. Still work. Three, two, let's go. Oh. Seven, eight. Oh! <laughs> ah. That's nine again. Two more rounds. Oh, killer, man. Three, two, here we go. Five, halfway. That's nine. Okay, I think I can keep the nine pace. I got one more round. Can you keep nine? Are you, is that where you're at too? Maybe you can do 10, who knows? Ready and go. Four, five, six, halfway. Seven, uh, eight, nine, Good job, ah, oh, shake it out. Okay, join me for a stretch, I'd love to have you. Great job, everyone. Oh, arms are on fire. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. All right, let's bring that arm across, stretch through that front shoulder a little bit. I actually quite enjoy doing shoulders. Um, like I like the look of having that side shoulder cap really pop, switch sides. And a lot of the things you do, whether it be chest or back, require shoulder too. So it's kind of like getting hit even when you're not intentionally doing it. But it's a good way to build those shoulders is doing um, exclusive upper body workouts like we did today. Good job. Arms back, thumbs down, stretch those biceps, swing those arms a little bit here too. And big stretch hold there. Oh, stretch your lower back out a little. And swing and hold it back right there, thumbs down. Good job. All right, let's bring our pinky, or sorry, thumb up to the ceiling. So I've got my one elbow on one leg, grab the outside of my other, and then just stretch that out there. Good. Coming up is gonna be a foam rolling video to help figure out exactly exercises, switch sides to do to lengthen up that fascia, make sure that our body's in top working form so that we can do all these exercises and not feel totally sore and stiff. So stay tuned for that. Oh goodness. I'm also speaking at a big workshop um, next week. So I'm gonna be doing some videos ahead, but while I'm at the workshop, my plan is, round through the back here, to bring my video camera. I, I don't speak on the Monday, I just speak Monday evening and all day Tuesday. So. My plan is actually to um, film a video in my hotel room. So we'll see how that goes. If I have, uh, I'm sure I'll have the time. That's why I'm bringing it. Roll those wrists there. Good. Let's take one step behind, push your heel into the ground there and round through the back, stretch the back and your calf there from the little bit of the jumping that we did. Yeah, so I'll be in Vancouver. Um, maybe I could take some of that workshop. I'm talking about fitness and sleep and how those two things switch sides. If 
applied in a routine and a ritualistic pattern can actually change your life and make you a better, healthier human. So hopefully, um, hopefully I'll get that all set up and be able to take that and show that on this channel here too if that's something you're interested in. I'll be talking about fitness and how even incorporating fitness increases your productivity. It makes you a better worker and helps you get more done. It increases your confidence. And then of course sleep and how it helps. Let's do a little tricep stretch here. It helps us uh, manage our weight, you know, getting enough sleep. So I'm going to try and get that workshop up online at some point anyway. So keep on the lookout for that. All right. Thanks for joining. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's workout, what you'd like to see more of. Okay. I'm always looking for different ideas. And when you give them to me, I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. I'll do that. So if you, if you say it, then I might do it. And that is all good for everyone. All right. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, nutrition. Don't forget to check the links below and leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you. All right. See you in the next video.